In this lesson, we'll learn about the lattice deformer. The lattice deformer lets us deform objects by uh, a cage. So this is really neat for not only modeling, let's say if you wanted to kind of get a more stylized look on your character, you can use the lattice to kind of push and pull points. You could also use this as a rigging tool for, let's say, rigging cartoony eyes or even a uh, vehicle, for instance. Let's say if you wanted a cartoony type of vehicle and you didn't want to have to worry about painting weights on so many points, you could use a lattice deformer as that vehicle's cage and rig the lattice, which we do in our rigging cartoon vehicles course. But let's say we go ahead and work with the lattice and we'll experiment with our, our monitor and learn the settings that come along with the lattice along the way. So with our monitor selected, we'll head over to Create Deformers Lattice Options and we'll reset the settings. So at the top, we can specify how many divisions we'd like initially on our lattice. The more divisions we have, the greater control we have over deformations. However, the fewer divisions, the more smoother the result is going to be initially. And then we could always rig the lattice with clusters and then weight those lattice points to create smoothness if we're dealing with more divisions. So we have that ability also. And if you'd like to learn more about clusters, uh, do look into our cluster lesson in this reference library. Now, local mode, what this is going to do is basically define whether points around the points we pull on our lattice will also be affected on our mesh. Now, with this off, we cannot adjust our local divisions. Chances are we're going to want this on because as we start to increase this value, we get a smoother result from our lattice. So we'll take a look at that. Positioning, this is going to control whether your pivot of your lattice is going to be centered with your object. With this on, if this is off, your pivot's going to be at the world. We can also group our base and lattice together. This is useful for transforming your entire lattice rig. The way deformations work is as your lattice starts to pull away from the base, that's how the deformations are created. So if you try to, let's say, move your object and the lattice but le left the base, you're going to get some a little distortion in your mesh because that base is not also following. And then we can use auto parent or parenting, which is kind of similar to the grouping setting in that we can use this to transform everything globally. Freeze mode is going to keep that object within the lattice, so we cannot pull the object outside of the lattice. As the object starts to be removed from the lattice, we'll start to remove those deformations. So with freeze mode, that will prevent that. Now underneath we have the outside lattice settings. So what happens if this object were to be removed from the lattice? So with the default setting, again, you're going to start to lose some of those deformations as the object exits the lattice. However, we can transform all points, which will keep those deformations if we like. Or we can choose fall off, which is going to still cause the result of the deformations to be removed from the object, but we're going to get a really nice fall off. And as we use that, then we can use the fall off distance to smooth that out. All right, so those are basically our settings, but let's say we go ahead and choose Create and take a look at this lattice. So you can see a box cage is created around this object. Now as we start to take our points and start to pull them out, I just selected the lattice, press F8 to go to Component Mode. Now we can start to pull them out, and notice we're starting to deform the object by how far we pull our points out. And just so you can take a look at this, heading over to our outliner, we've created a lattice, but we also have the base object, which is invisible by default. But you can see that with the base object, as those points start to offset from that base, that's how we're creating the deformations. And again, if you'd like to have everything move all together, you don't want to have your lattice and base grouped along with the object. So just to show you that, if we were to, let's say, take our lattice and start to kind of pull this away, 
the base is still there but as we start to transform our our object we will get some weird offsets a little bit of skewing in our mesh the result is not too noticeable at this point but you would most certainly notice it on the more complex lattice rigs now we talked about the FFD or we talked about the local distance settings if we were to bring our attention to the channel box and go to the FFD node and expand that here are our local influence attributes so if we start to increase this let's go ahead and select them all and start to increase this with the middle mouse button to about a value of 4 you can see how smooth the result is now let's say if we wanted to reset our settings to maybe add more divisions on our lattice well as of right now we're not able to add any divisions because we've already tweaked the lattice so if we would like to add divisions for more control it's just a matter of selecting the lattice and choosing under edit deformers either reset lattice or remove lattice tweaks to bring that back and now we can freely go in and add more divisions so let's say if we increase this to a value of three now as we start to go in and pull points again we have more control over what areas on our mesh are going to be deformed we also have more settings in the attribute editor so we can go ahead and take a look at that we could either select our object or the lattice itself and then from there either go to the lattice shape to adjust how many divisions it has or if we were to go to the FFD we will get to more core settings so we took a look at local and the local influence settings we have for a smoother deformation next we can control what happens as the object exits the lattice so for instance with it right now set to fall off it might be easier to see what happens if we were to add some deformation so I'll go ahead and take the lattice and just pull a few points out but now if we were to take our mesh and start to pull that out notice it's going to remove the effect that the lattice has over the object but we're going to get a nice smooth fall off as a result if we were to switch this to all notice the deformations kind of stay but we get more of a relative offset however if we were to switch this to inside that change is going to be more abrupt I like to work with fall off simply because as the object rem is removed from that lattice it's a lot smoother so let's say if a character had to fit through a tight space this might be a cool setting to use right and then underneath we have freeze geometry so let's go ahead and bring our our lattice back to the point where it was inside the cage I'll go ahead and turn on freeze geometry you see that the object is not able to be removed from the lattice with this so if you want to keep your object locked down freeze geometry is what you would want to use let's look at the lattice deformer again a really neat tool for deforming objects by a cage